Welcome to Xara template tutorial lesson number 29 and this Xara web designer 7 premium tutorial will be going over the other text panel within the designs gallery and we'll be going over how to add a numbered item from the other text panel and we'll be going over how to add a note from that text pan from the other text panel and we'll also go over adding one additional item from the other text panel within the designs gallery. If you haven't already, go ahead and start a blank new document in XR Web Designer 7 Premium. Once you do that, make sure that you have the option available for the designs gallery. And like I've shown you in the other previous tutorials, all you have to do is go to utilities, galleries, and make sure that the checkbox next to designs gallery is checked. And once you have that, go to designs gallery, and we're gonna lock this panel using the thumbtack in the upper right hand corner. And then we're going to go to the text panels option folder. And if I'm going a little bit too fast for you, make sure that you watch one of the previous tutorials or the one before the, this, this tutorial. And it'll show you a little bit slower than uh, what I'm going right now. But go ahead and left click on the text panel folder and you'll see two sub options, speech bubbles or other text panels. We're going to make sure that we left click on this other text panel to open it and if yours is already open don't worry you can just go ahead and look at the other text panels and the first one I'm, I'm going to show you is the numbered item and you'll see that right next to this note uh, icon or note other text panel and if you don't see the numbered item one you can choose any of the other ones like number item two or number item three but you should see one that says number item one and it has like a green box with the number one in it and if you see that there you're gonna left click and drag that into your workspace and when you do that it'll create a series of text with the number one so assuming that you're wanting to make a number list you can go in and you can double click like you normally do and you can add text or you can delete text if you need to from this panel and make it whatever you want and you can adjust the width just like normal, just like before by adjusting the horizontal distance of this text column and it will adjust the text accordingly now let's say that you wanted to make another number and you're probably wondering well would I just go over here to the designs gallery and drag another one no you would not do that if you left click and drag it again you'll see that again you get a number one so how do you make another number in your order number list well it's quite simple actually let's go ahead and delete this numbered item by hitting let's left clicking it with the mouse click button and then hitting delete and get rid of that and once you get rid of that we're going to left click select this first number item and before we do anything let's go up to our top menu here and make sure that this option for snap to objects that looks like a a magnetic kind of object icon you're gonna left click and make sure that's unselected for this for, for this particular tutorial so make sure that's unchecked and then when you go to your numbered item that we have we're gonna hold the control key down and we're gonna right click on it and drag downward while holding that right click mouse button down drag downward and what that does is it makes an, a clone of that object and it drags it directly underneath and then let go of those those keys once you do that and if that's too complicated for you I'll show you another way I'm gonna delete that again and we're gonna left click select this number item I know we haven't went over cloning yet so I'm gonna show you how to do it two different ways you left click select this numbered item and hit control plus C to copy and then go to your edit options and your menu at the top in the upper left hand corner and go to the paste and you've done this before so this should seem familiar and when that, when that menu pops out you'll hit place paste in place or control shift V and once you do that it'll make an exact copy on top of that first numbered item one that we made and in this case all you have to do is hold the control key left click on that top layer of the number item one and you'll see that there's an extra copy over it 
and when you left click and drag down while holding make sure you're holding the control key and the left click mouse up and down and what that do, will do is it'll lock it, lock it to the vertical axis to drag it right beneath that so I'll show you that one more time in case you didn't catch that left click select the numbered item hit control C to copy go to your edit menu and then go to the paste option paste in place left click on that and that paste in place will make an exact copy on top of the original and then just hold your control key left click on it and drag downward while holding control key and that'll make an exact uh, well the control key and holding down the left click mouse button and dragging down locks it to the the vertical axis so that's how you make an exact copy on top and then drag it downward once you do that we're done a double click on this number number one icon when you do that it'll activate the text tool you'll hit backspace and hit the number two and then you'll hit either the escape key or you'll select the selection tool whichever one you can hit the escape key on your keyboard or hit the selection tool and that'll make that that'll deselect it and now you have two numbered items and if you want to do it again you'll hit control C to copy go to your edit menu go to paste paste in place will paste an exact copy on top of the number two item and if you hold down your control key left click on it and drag downward while holding the control and left key drag downward and you'll have another number item again double click on that number two hit backspace write the number three hit escape or hit select the selection tool in your toolbar and now you have a numbered list that goes from one to two to three and just like before if you wanted to modify the column adjust the width and it will adjust it accordingly so that's how you add a numbered item to your your website document now if you wanted to change the color just like before if you go to the color editor you'll have a theme color and text and you can change the the theme color by selecting theme color one and adjusting the colors according to what you want it to be to match with your current website so a lot of these principles are kind of dragged across each of these tutorials but there are some differences in how you have to do things which in this case the numbered item list from the other text panel is not as straightforward as you would think it would be it's actually you know a situation where you have to kind of copy and paste and then change numbers to create your list so let's go ahead and delete all these options here by left clicking and then deleting them on each of them and get rid of all those once you get rid of all of those items next thing we're going to do is left click and drag the note from the other text panel left click and drag that onto your space and we're not going to match it because we want to keep the original colors of this note so don't match and keep it the same now I'm going to show you something that's different here. Now, if you left double left click on this text and this note uh, icon from the the other text panel, and you drag the column outward, you'll notice that the text panel does not expand. So, for certain items in your text panels, it may not always expand when you adjust the width of the column, and in this case, it doesn't. So don't be alarmed if you see some things in the text panel or other text panel or speech bubbles doesn't adjust because sometimes it, it won't do that. So just keep that in mind and that's why I was showing you that. But also it's kind of unique if you need to put a note on your website to give your clients some additional information or inform them or something you could use this note and you can just double click and change the text to whatever you want it to be. You could say you know discounts maybe only applies on Friday and that should be apply actually discounts only apply on Friday you know and put like an exclamation mark or whatever you want to write you can put the a note on your website so that's how you add a note and you can modify each of these images just like before if you wanted to change the color, you go to theme color 1A and you would adjust the color accordingly to whatever you would like to make it. So just like before, it's pretty straightforward. You can change the text color 
as well if you want it. In this case, it's text A, and we can make it maybe, I don't know, a light brown or darker brown. Whatever you would like to make it, you can make it. Or you can make it white text, which you can barely see that, so I'll keep it back to the darker brown. But you can make it whatever you would like, just like any other object from, from the text panels. So let's go ahead and, and delete that. Well, actually, I do want to show you one other thing. You can change the pen color because this object has a pen color, which is this thumbtack that's being placed into the notepad. And if you change that, it will change the color of the thumbtack. So there is one additional thing you can change. You can make the thumbtack whatever color you would like. I kind of like the blue, so I'll probably leave it as the blue. And that's how you change the thumbtack color. Let's go ahead and delete that note. I'll show you one additional panel. I mean, there's a lot of panels in here. And I'm not going to go through all these other text panels. You can kind of experiment and see for yourself. But we have another text panel in here that's kind of split into two parts. It has like a title and then it has the text. And before I pull that in there, I'll show you. There, there are text panels here that has pictures. If you look in here, you'll see that some of these text panels have pictures and you can add in pictures for these text panels but I won't cover that in this tutorial you can re you can replace any of those pictures that are in there I'll probably cover that in another tutorial at some point and, and show you how to change the pictures in those those text panels but I'm gonna go to the rounded corner number two option that's it's a blue colored text panel and if you left click and drag that in there I'm gonna hit don't match and you'll see that it's broken up into two parts so you can give it a title you can say this is my title or now you don't want to go too far because if you go too far it'll cut into the next part so try to keep your title to the distance of this panel which in this case is not too far so I'll just say this is my title for this panel and then you can write whatever text you want at the bottom by left clicking into the text at the bottom and then you can start writing your content you can say this is a tutorial for how to use other text panels in the Sara web designer software and as you type the panel the panel will continue to grow just like any other panel so I think you get the idea of how this works. And again, if you want to change the colors, you would just go to the color editor like normal, and you would change the theme color or the text to adjust the color values for this text panel. I hope this tutorial was helpful in learning, helping you learn how to use, uh, you know, the numbered items within the other text panel, how to add things like a note with the thumbtack in it, uh, and also how to add additional panels like the one that we have on screen here and uh, you know feel free to try to test out some of these other panels and see what what they can do and if it offers value for adding it to your website and if you have any questions please send me a message on YouTube and leave a comment if you have any suggestions and if this tutorial was helpful in helping you learn how to use uh, XR Web Designer a little bit more Give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay tuned for future tutorials. Thanks again for watching our tutorial.